All right, Don, so now that we are here, let's grab some soap, uh, some hand sanitizer. We need all of their toilet paper, Obama. Uh, now, hold on. We have to stay as rational as we can in these difficult times and buy what we need. I couldn't agree more, Obama, and frankly, I think we need to make sure that a lot of people know that this is a national emergency, two very big words, some of the biggest words, but we shouldn't be wasting time or money. Oh, wait, hold on, Donald. Uh, uh, you don't need toilet paper for coronavirus. We might be talking about different national emergencies. Arch, here we go. Uh, hi, this is a random person. Uh, and I want to know if your refrigerator is running. And this is Bernie Sanders, and I want to know, is there mayonnaise in your refrigerator? Well, don't tell them who you are. And this is Donald Trump, your president. I want to know, is it running? Because if it's running, it's going to lose. And badly, so badly, you look at the polls. Were you able to afford that fridge with a working class minimum wage? How big is it? Is it gage? Oh. Uh, well, you, you better go catch that, f your fridge. Bernie, baby, it's so good to see you. Oh, what is up, my fellow one percenters? Well, I've been feeling the burn, I'll tell you that. So funny. But I guess what I want to say is it's been a tremendous, really a tremendous amount of time. Yeah, what have you been getting into, man? Oh, I've actually been getting very much into kombucha. I've been brewing my own kombucha. Uh, no way. Uh, uh all right. Um, so, uh, whose turn is it? Looks like Bernie rolled a four. Oh, one, two... Three, four. Oh, looks like I've passed go. I will collect $200, which I will then redistribute back to the working middle class. Uh, all right. I mean, it's a game of Monopoly. Uh, anyway. Um, all right. Uh, I'm going to take my turn to build a hotel. A Trump hotel? Uh, no, this is a game of Monopoly, Donald. But what if your hotel had my name on it? What do you think about that? I don't think you guys get how to play this game. But this is how Donald Trump answers a question that he doesn't know the answer to. Excuse me. Excuse me. You're not the president, and there's probably a good reason for that, but... Well, we're looking into that. We're looking into that quite a lot, actually. We're looking at... People said we didn't know a lot about it, but you look at these people, and some of these people are not great people. You leave... So a lot of people ask me, how do you do the Barack Obama impression? It's actually really easy. You take your normal voice, and you start to make it sound more and more like a frog... To you start going ribbit, 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 and then you just dial it back until you're saying, folks, yes, we can, and yes, we will. This is if Barack Obama, Donald Trump, and Bernie Sanders all decided to do a collab with Travis Scott. First, we're going to need a beat. Next, we need some sort of Travis Scott sounding vocals. Obama going hard on the beat, yeah. He better put in a bed on the beat, yeah. And now for some Obama. What the United States needs is progress. It's lit. Obamacare. Now for some Bernie. Oh, the millionaires and billionaires. We're going to finish out with a quick Trump. I'm so rich. I'm probably the richest guy. I know a lot of people. Turn the volume all the way up, and you're done. What the United States needs is progress. Obama, will you at least say where we're going? Uh, dude, it's a surprise, all right? L let me just surprise you for once. Oh, I for one am now fully convinced that we are going to Disney World. No questions about it. Bernie, we're not going there, and I've said that, uh, uh, and stop polluting Donald's mind. Wait, are we going to Disney World? I love Disney World quite a lot. Oh, yes, we are. Uh, no, we're not. When we get there, I'd like a churro, please. I'd like maybe one, maybe even two if I'm feeling frisky or something, but I'd like probably two churros. Could be three. Hey, Obama. Uh, what's good with it, Don? I think I have a question for you. I think I do. Oh, uh, yeah. What, uh, what's on your mind? Well, I have a question. Not that I don't know the answer. I just am probably a little curious, maybe, but I think I just don't quite know what is the answer, but I know... Most answers to probably everything, including what I'm going to ask. All right, well, what's your question? What happens when we die? Uh, wow. Uh, well, 
you know, Don, uh, I believe that each of us is given a purpose on this earth. And, uh, you know, I believe that once you have fulfilled your purpose here, uh, you move on to something far greater than you've ever known before. Uh, Holy shit, you're boring. Say it. Just say it. Would you look at that? Donnie, the Oscars are on tonight. Who do you think is going to win? Ooh, Obama, that's such a spicy question, frankly. I think I liked probably the Joker a lot. I think Joaquin Pichionix was something else. Uh, uh, do you mean Joaquin Phoenix? I don't think so. I'm thinking of Joaquin Pichionix from the Joker movie. Joaquin Pichionix. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this place is looking pretty damn sweet. It's okay. It's okay. You know, you look at this place. It's probably not the nicest place, and I know some of the nicest places. You see some of these places that I know, and they're crazy. They're crazy. People say, Donald, there's no way, but you look at some of these places. Wait a minute. Looks like the folks before us left us a Frisbee to play with. Donald, you want to play Frisbee? Wait, 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 wait. Excuse me. Whoa, what's going on? Hold on, hold on. This frisbee was made in China, and we're not going to play a game that was made in China. Uh, Donald, don't be weird, all right? It's fine. Why don't we get to play the games that I like? Uh, like what? Like the game, Who Built This Wall? Uh, no, Donald, because that game is stupid, and we can't know who even did it. Mexico. Are we almost there? I have to go to the bathroom. It's about 20 minutes until our next stop. Uh, uh, how bad is it? Is it number one or number two? Well, we're looking into what number it is because a lot of people are saying it's number one. And I think that's probably right. But, you know, number two is quite something as well. I think when you're looking at... Uh, Donald, just answer. Is it number one or number two? Well, I'm always number one. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. So it's probably number one. All right. Uh, well, it's going to be 20 minutes. So if you want a bottle, uh, I have a bottle up here. Do you want a bottle, Donald? Well, no, you know, I'm realizing something that's quite fantastic. It's number two, actually. It's number two, and I need to do it quite quickly, quite immediately. Uh, look, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, uh, sometimes you just got to hold it in, all right? Well, it's a little late. It's a little late for that. You know, you look at what it smells like. Damn it, Donald, not again. Are we there yet? Uh, no, Donald, we are not there. Uh, and it'll be some time before we get there. Well, I'm very bored. I'm one of the boredest people. I'm very bored. I'm frankly more bored than a lot of people would think that I am, but I'm bored. And I want to know, are we there yet? Donald, I have told you time and time again that uh, if you ask if we're there yet, we're not going to get there sooner. Well, are we there? Because you still haven't answered. I literally just answered like two seconds ago, Donald. Well, 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 what are you doing? Well, I'm just bored. I don't know if you heard me, but I'm so bored back here. I don't have much to do. I don't have my cartoons. I don't have my coloring book. And I'm very angry about that. But, you know, we're doing what we can. Uh, well, how about we sing a song or play a game? I like games. So this is how Donald Trump answers a question that he doesn't know the answer to. Excuse me. Excuse me. You're not the president, and there's probably a good reason for that, but... Well, we're looking into that. We're looking into that quite a lot, actually. We're looking at... People said we didn't know a lot about it, but you look at these people, and some of these people are not great people. You leave me. So a lot of people ask me, how do you do the Donald Trump impression? I say, look, it's really easy. What you do is you start with your normal voice and you gradually start to make it sound just a little bit raspy, but not too much and not too little. When you take a breath, you say, that breath was perfect. It was totally perfect. And people are saying it was probably the best breath they've ever seen, which is right, which is totally right. You'll occasionally fumble a word. You'll say, I think we're looking at you, people. And no one seems to notice. No one notices. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, hold on, Donald, I'm looking at the menu. Give me a few minutes. Oh, I would like their largest milkshake, please. 
Bernie, you know very well that that won't do well for your insulin. Foiled again, Obama. Egg, egg, me! Egg, 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 me! Donald! Do they have chocolate cake? I have to know. Oh, yes, they do. Oh, my God. Guys, this is an in and out We've been here before. They don't have chocolate cake. But Bernie said they do. Well, Bernie's been saying a lot of shit. Whoa, watch your language, Obama. What you did was wrong. So the craziest part, you know, after the whole elephant debacle, uh, that's when I started taking ginger shots with, <coughs> with, the, uh, with the hula dance. Obama, you coughed. And we don't know if you have corona or not. We don't know, and frankly, and I know a lot of Franks, but I'll tell you that I think you might have corona. Uh, no, I don't have coronavirus, Don. And uh, let me finish the story. So, so... Corona. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. Let me tell you. I know where it originated. Do you know where it originated? Uh, I, I do, but l let me finish. It originated? Uh, Donald, don't... Do In China. You know, Donald, I disagree with you a lot, but I will say that you changed my view right there, and I appreciate that. And likewise, you've totally made me consider different perspectives, which I know some of the best, but you really totally changed my view, and I appreciate you for it. You know, and, and you're not as bad as the media makes you out to be, Don. And I just want to say I'm sorry for a lot of the things I've put you and your tremendous family. I mean, they're tremendous, your family. And I think you're a great guy. Donald, I don't say it enough, but uh, I love you. I love you so much, Obama. I love you a lot. All right, man. You're all right. But you definitely weren't born here, and I hate your whole party. You're literally so fat, and you're upending democracy. Obama. Excuse me. Oh, yes, we can. Donald. Well, since you're awake, I've been thinking just a little bit. Not a lot, but perhaps just a little bit about maybe telling me a scary story. Not the scariest story because, you know, it's a little bit late, but... And I've heard some of probably the scariest stories that anyone's ever heard. You look at some of these stories, they're frightening. And I think, you know, we want to hear perhaps another story, perhaps. Just perhaps. Uh, bro. Stop waking me up. Just one more story, not too scary, just what? Uh, all right, fine, Donald. Uh, there once was a country with open borders. Oh my gosh. Three, two, one, ready or not, here we come, Donald. Well, we are hiding in a tremendous hiding spot, probably one that millions, if not billions of people would not be able to find. I think Obama is not going to find us. Uh, why are you speaking? I, I hear you. I, I see you. You're behind the curtain. Excuse me. That's wrong. It's totally wrong. We're not behind the curtain. We are not there, frankly. Uh, Donald, the game is over. It's not over until, frankly, you find me. And I don't know that you found me. You know, I think this is probably just another witch hunt. Uh, right. Well, look, Don, if you're not behind the curtain, then I guess I'm just going to enjoy this chocolate cake by myself. Uh, all right, Bloomberg, the bet is to you. I'm all in. Uh, bro, are you serious? You didn't even look at your cards. It's the first hand. Why, that is correct, Obama. I think that I have a fantastic shot to win. Uh, all right, uh, I call, you're all in. Oh, this hand is so juicy. My cards are incredible. Some of the best people are looking at them and saying they're so good, they're too good. Oh, you shouldn't play them, but we're probably going to play them. But instead of that, we fold. Uh, right. Uh, well, I have uh, pocket kings. Uh, what do you got? I have a three and a seven. Uh, that's literally a bad hand. Why, why would you go all in with that? I don't know what I'm doing. Obama, you have to redistribute. You're so cute, I could lock you up. You farted and it smells bigly bad. Maybe we'll do a walk. Walk? Tremendous walk. People are saying I should have brought a bag, but we're not going to. We don't need it. Bags are for losers. That's what we say. I should have brought a bag. That's probably one of the most fibrous poops we've seen, and we've seen quite a number of poops. There's no quid pro quo. You're just too cute. I'm so bad. I think I want to play with this toy more than you do, I think. Who loves his daddy so much? A China, China wall, who's a China wall, my